identities so integrometric identities what i'm going to understand i'm going to understand three things first thing is that the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 that is our first identity second identity i can write over here so i can write this way sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 second part what i had is cosecant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 the next i do have secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 so these are our three types of identity sin theta plus cos theta is equals to 1 cosecant minus cot square theta is equals to 1 secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to 1 so based on this three we are going to use in solving the trigonometric problems or some for problem they will give you the last two solve this identities so let us consider the first identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so in this identity we are going to see its use what i am going to use for it so what i can write i can write sin square theta shift this thing i can write 1 minus cos square because plus will become minus likewise if i want to write cos square i can write 1 minus sin square theta that is the first application similarly if i want to write second what is the second i wrote c cos secant square theta minus cot square theta is equals to 1 so i found two values from the first identity clear so likewise i do have next thing minus shift there it will become plus so if i want to write the value for it i can write cos secant square theta i can write as 1 plus cot square theta similarly if i want to write cot values what i am doing it i am shifting one over there it will become minus so cot square theta i can write as cot square theta i can write as cosecant square theta minus one so this is the second part of identity i obtained from cosecant square theta minus cot square theta so i got these two things sin and cos i found cosecant and cot i found third category is what tan and tan square theta and then secant so secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to one we do have one so i need to prove it so doing, doing these things what i'll do it i'll take the value for it so next i had secant square theta minus tan square theta is equals to one so minus tan square theta shift over there it will become plus so i can write secant square theta is equals to one plus tan square theta i got the secant square theta value so likewise if i want to find tan what i'll get tan square theta is equals to tan shift there one shift over here so it will become minus so what i can write secant square theta and then minus one so i got the next category of the formula so this is the third one so secant square theta minus tan square theta if they gave in the question that equals to one if you want to write secant square theta in terms of tan then this is the formula if you want to write tan in terms of secant then you need to apply the second category of formula so these are the three categories of trigonometric formulas we'll be having in order to solve the problems clear so why it is one and how it is one let us see by using the pythagoras so what is the pythagoras statement we do have we had if i want to prove this so what is the pythagoras statement i can write pythagoras states that if you do have right angle triangle a b c suppose this is your theta this is become opposite side this is your adjacent and this is your hypotenuse so what is the secant theta formula secant theta is hypotenuse by adjacent that is secant theta what is tan theta tan theta is from ratio what i can write for tan opposite by adjacent what is pythagoras theorem statement opposite square plus adjacent square is equals to hypotenuse square if i want to write adjacent value from it what i can write adjacent would become adjacent square is equals to hypotenuse square minus opposite square i can write this way and this one so i can write these two things so i am applying those formulas for this part so what is secant theta hypotenuse by adjacent whole square tan i can write opposite by adjacent 
whole square is equals to suppose this is my left hand side clear i need to prove this as one that is my right hand side i can write adjacent is common in both i can write adjacent square is common here i can write over here what i left hypotenuse square minus i got here opposite square so that is your again left hand side what is hypotenuse square minus opposite square i can write i can write as adjacent square by using pythagoras theorem so i can write for this adjacent square divided by adjacent square till it is left hand side so both are cancel because both are same so it will be one that is left hand side what is one here that is your right hand side so left hand side and right hand side is equal that means this sin secant square root of minus tan square root of can be equals to one by using by using this pythagoras theorem so by using the pythagoras theorem we have proved this type of identity likewise in the next part of video i'll going to explain you how the sin square root of plus cos square root of equals to one in the next we do have cosecant square root of minus cot square root of equals to one so thank you for watching the video if you understand it like and subscribe and press the bell, bell icon for further updates of this type of trigonometric for problems as well as the concepts it will be definitely going to be useful for you to get into depth of it so as to understand and uh, kind of you can apply in your upcoming uh, competitive exams or any kind of exams when you want to uh, go for this in details thank you have a good day